Hello everybody and welcome to yet another Summer Cup cast. It is going to be the round of 16 once again. I am your host Obi Wright, here with myself, me, and I. Uh, that's not usually how you say that, but this is not a usual cast. It's just me here today. We are doing a solo cast, uh, but we still have the, the usual two matches going on. We have Koopa versus Yorand. A uh, fun little matchup because both of them are coming from the N and M groups, respectively, which means that they are both uh, twins, uh, uh, or represented by twins from their groups. After that, we have Rav versus Cat the Befuddled. Uh, they, you know, their, their groups are a little bit less interestingly placed. We've got, you know, the uh, Oprah group, which is H, and uh, Queen, which is J. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, some fun matches today. Koopa has been performing quite well recently. Uh, you know, won, uh, won their group with 3-0, and that's a group with Lazy Bear in it. So it is pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, Yurand, obviously a strong player, was a finalist in the most recent Winter Cup, was in Diamond in the last SCL, so has a lot of proven skill. Uh, Yurand, however, um, does 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 sometimes have a little bit of an inconsistency, does sometimes drop to players you might not expect, so Koopa has a lot of opportunity here to take that upset. Then we have Rob versus Cat the Befuddled. Rob, of course, everyone knows is very strong, got second place in the most recent Hidden Cup that was casted uh, just last week, actually, the, the finals for that. Uh, took second place behind Death Tacticus, so clearly very strong player there, and beat, beat Lazy Bear uh, in the semifinals there, although didn't know it was Lazy Bear at the time. And of course, Cat the Befuddled coming in off of beating T-Flame uh, last week during the round of 32, which itself is an impressive uh, feat. Uh, as that is everything we have to go, we do have the first match, which is going to be Koopa versus Yurant. Let's hop on in there, and we will be having uh, our fun little pre spy predictions in the, to in, the, in the top right, as you can see, in just a moment, as I get that loaded up. All right, we are all loaded up and ready to go. Uh, you know, you, you might think I don't have to count this in, but uh, it's actually, hold on, excuse me. There we go, my computer was Deciding to not be happy for a moment, unusually. Anyways, let's get this uh, game rolling in three, two, one, playing it. That's a little bit loud. All right, so Koopa, we are having the four of eight high rise starting out. 34% on the first flirt here. Let me just turn that uh, audio from the game down slightly, because it is louder than usual. But 34% uh, is a good start in the flirt. And Yuran does highlight a twin. That is a common thing for Yuran to do, a common thing for a lot of people to do. Uh, and we do take a timer flirt here, just playing this really slowly. 68% now on the flirt. Ambassador getting us yet there. I was I was just about to say Koopa You know has a really good opportunity for a bug here And that is one of the ways that you are gonna beat your is having a, a nice bug your famously known as a pathing sniper and pays a lot of attention to those um, So has a little bit of a weaker weak, weaker trend on hard tells like bug of course still very good at catching them but Koopa taking that opportunity as soon as it's presented shows a very uh, very nice mindset coming into the set. Contacts coming off, and really no low lights to be taken. Of course, the SDA was out of conversation, so your end will know who didn't have real, and that is one of you know, one of us. We are one of the reels. Um, so I honestly, I think I I'd prefer to have that 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 SDA in and have a regular character out if I were to be given the choice as a spy. Just because you know you're gonna have more ability to ha have the party at a higher level of threat, even though you're not actually eliminating anyone from the party when you have the SDA out. 
just having more people in and having that co that contact credit for more people is very very helpful when you're trying to get away with other things or maybe get an AI shot. We do more flirt here and we are going to test. We we're waiting to see where she went. This flirt will get it regardless of the test as long as it is not red. And of course. After that, we need one more mission. We see Uran taking a padding lily on general. That is something that's unique a little bit to Uran. The longer the game goes on, uh, perhaps the better odds you you have at Uran finding you. But Koopa's not going to wait for that timing. Going to step all just into center statues here, and Uran is going to have to shoot for the inspects. Uh, we'll see if that bug was credited. It didn't seem to be at the time. It was very nicely done on the uh, on the opportunity taken for Koopa. But we take the set down. Uran does not seem to be on the verge of shooting here. Five seconds counting down in the mission win. And it's it's pretty clear this game is now over. Koopa taking the early lead, going up one to zero. Let's do that. I can turn it back up in uh, in OBS. Since I just turned it down for myself. Alright. Yeah, that was that was just a pretty pretty standard game from Koopa there. You take the bug that is given to you, and Urand is not on top of it, uh, perhaps looking at something else. Um, it's definitely something that you have to credit if you're a sniper or take a wider angle. You have to be all the way over here, really, to see that happening in real time, because at that point you'll be able to see the, this arm uh, hanging out there. So that is uh, maybe a little bit of a mistake on Urand's part. But it, it, it does result in a game win for Koopa. So we'll be moving on into the next game here. Uh, Yorand on the spy side trying to, trying to keep it even at 1-1 one one if we can find the spy win. We'll get that going in 3, 2, 1, playing it. No, we start in the same location as Koopa did last game, but uh, no ST to start with this time, unfortunately. And we are kind of awkwardly in the very center of this conversation. It is something that will happen, uh, but you'll, you see it more commonly when the a, when a player takes control but does not input any kind of action. That will that will make the AI lead you to their to their resting location where they were headed to. But for look, but for conversations that will just set you in the very center of the conversation won't give you a specific spot. Uh, so it so it might be a little bit suspicious to Koopa early in this game. However, depth perception makes it hard to even see that there's something wrong here. Look at that. Still no flirt here. ST was at books and we took an innocent drink really early on in this game. Just trying to play it slow. Uh, looking for perhaps frame opportunities. We are watching as Disney takes this briefcase and is returning it. Probably picking up a fingerprint off of that. I would be surprised if that finger. I would be surprised if that briefcase was completely smudged by now. Um, but as this time takes away, we still have no progress, and progress is what you need on this venue. This is not high rise three of five. You can't just rely on an AI getting shot. Uh, it, it is it is a four of eight venue in this scenario. So you're gonna need to actively frame someone if they, they you even want them to die. But even then, it's gonna be difficult if you have no drone. Okay, we are going to step into our ST for the first flirt. We're hoping this is going to be a green test, but Urand does not have the best green rate uh, of top players, and 34% showing that off. It's only a white test. And here comes the contact. That one's a green test, but a little bit less impactful, I'd say, um, to have that. We get two low lights out of the contact, but we do have both SDA and double agent in the conversations, so both conversations credited with contact here. We go for a purloin green test. What was I saying about Uran's gr a green test rate? We have two for three so far in this game. That green purloin gonna be offered to Alice, taken by Alice. Let's see what the fade is. Does, oh, Koopa is all over that fade. Look at that. Low lights Alice. Low lights Alice because he knows that fade. It had to be green. Saw it was gone too quickly. And now it's just down to two. What a very, very nice play from Koopa. But it's still, it's still, it's still a little bit concerning because we do see Oprah walk into side statues here. Oh, down to two, down to three at the, at the time. But now it's down to two as Koopa takes a little light onto Kane. Uh, Red dress here, hair, Oprah, whatever you want to call her. She does have the side statue. So if she goes in 
to to another set of statues she may end up dead but that seems to be our only hope here given the fact that we are one of two highlights in this game and we just don't have the progress to to complete here we'd need to maybe flirt green swap and find another flirt before it comes off to even consider a finish here but look at this oh i thought oprah was gonna stop in at the statues there but instead no she gets bounced away by her st duke you traitor she seemed to be going over towards uh towards the statue side but no doesn't get over there because we are blocked by by duke duke and the time is ticking down koopa has no reason to shoot is holding the angle to make sure oprah doesn't bug and this game is about to be over this wind chance uh reflects at seven percent chance but really i think it's nothing uh and in the end koopa does make a nice hold on a well-tracked purloin and Yurand runs out of time, uh, and uh, that's going to be Koopa up 2-0. All right. Uh, very nice hold by Koopa on high rise, getting a quick lead out early. But Aquarium is one of Yurand's favorite venues, is known for a lot of tricks here. Uh, so I would not be surprised to see this tied up after Aquarium. We'll see what, ooh, excuse me. We'll see what Koopa can do on the spy side, playing as Alice in three, two, one, playing it. Ooh, whoops, did not mean to pause that, that was... Unfortunately, the first floor bar is same ST as last time. Maybe uh, Koopa's given, giving some uh, some thanks to Duke bouncing Oprah away from statues earlier. Although I don't think he really noticed that. 49% um, uh, on the spy win chance. That's pretty. It's pretty common. It's, it's early game. Nothing decided yet. Uh, and of course, you know, if if nothing's decided, how can you how can you predict really? It's just uh, every oh we missed the fingerprint. This was a difficult bar fingerprint. That's really early on in the game um, to have a difficult finger to profit bar. And if we had hit that, that might have been really really nice for Koopa. But uh, only unfortunate for Koopa. Only got the uh, the drink and no no fingerprints. Still looking for any sort of progress here. Just the flirt going on right now a f quite a few highlights in this party look at this we have six highlights for your hand here uh despite you know, the how early it is in this game and we send off that delegate it is pending now we'll see if it happens in time we did wait quite a bit we went to the back right windows we might just be trying to you know give more people uh credit for being at bar give it the give the sniper more to remember but yeah, it expires just as we're about to take, and no progress there from Koopa. We do get a green microfilm here, out on the right side books, uh, behind Shark. So very nice there. Uh, of course, you'll need to go back at the to blue books at some point to get to finish off that mission. It is not a credit yet, but it's moving along the game. Uh, I did see Yuran just take a low light onto a. What, what was previously a highlight and uh, that's that's the Uran style you give him time he's gonna start narrowing that party down Koopa goes for this briefcase but is beaten to it by Seek bounces away from that definitely not doing any kind of prints this game it's 1 in the clock and I would not be surprised to see a timeout here because we are hurting for that time Yeah, we're going to go step in here, I imagine, for a contact. No timeout was taken at that window. Here it is. It's going to knock out two more people, one of them being a highlight, but it is going to get us that mission progress, which is so, so dearly important here. Yes, there goes there goes Seek taking the low light. We still need to finish Flirt, and that will require a green test, no matter how close we get, because the maximum possible Flirt is 34% and we are just 1% off of that being enough but ambassador comes near us we try to plant the bug but it's a walking bug and this time we get it but was your watching alice is a pretty good standing bug especially from that angle 
that could be good enough to win the game but our arm is covered by a cowboy there so our path looked pretty awful uh coming out of that conversation we might be credited with a bug even if we didn't see it the first time 99 percent on the bug uh, on the flirt rather somewhere tobo is screaming 25 percent 25 seconds left rather on the clock and now we're going to go into blue books we need to get this microphone but we still need the flirt afterwards so there's going to be overtime no matter what we have the shark here but no we don't have the shark here we don't wait for it and instead durand is going to find the shot despite the green microphone we were just a little bit too active in that late game we didn't have the time to wait for the shark here to cover us up and unfortunately for koopa that does mean that durand is within striking distance to bring this set back to that even uh even score line that we might have expected coming out of the first venue and now Durand playing as Duke. We've seen a lot of Duke being important in these games, and now he is the spy. We're going to get uh, our next game going here in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Uh, once again for Yuran, no ST, no other progress. It's a very, very barren conversation to start in in this game. Uh, lots of highlights coming out early from Koopa. Uh, Koopa obviously does take those those statue highlights. So some uh, some good some good attention cover perhaps for Yurand to do do things even if not attention it is definitely visual cover those glowing big white borders kind of draw the eye and so if we're going to do something that's going to be visible it is going to be a little bit easier to see and Yuran taking that 51 percent flirt to start us out uh you know i, I said earlier Yuran doesn't have the best uh at rate but proving me wrong so far this set maybe has improved but look at this this is really not the best contact the best fake you want to be taking that's going to knock out three highlights that's going to plummet our win chance pretty hard for down to 43 percent where previously it was above 50 uh because we just got no progress and oh uh, well then again koopa is highlighting for the real contact here so putting a lot of uh threat and suspicion down on those other other guests that are not us so we do finish up that flirt uh so so perhaps those those little lights were worth it but it's hard to say koopa switched up the lighting strategy to reflect the contact and so you can see that there are there is some um, some level of compensation for your end here for that contact. The flirt, we, an mission we never saw get done last game is of course complete now, but that's the only mission we have complete. And in fact, the only progress we have, no prince. We pick up a delegate, but nothing else in this game is uh, is, is helping. Of course, we could be stepping in here for a, another contact, but that would knock out even more people. Another four, if I'm counting correctly right now, including a smallman, including, oh, there's just so many people knock out, so many highlights. And I imagine we're going to become one ourselves in just a moment. We delegate off to Tex here, and that is going to take. We might be going for some kind of shark cheese with a statue here with a swap, but it's not the right shark. The shark's, the, this is the middle shark coming in from the right. Uh, it's not going to cover our swap or anything. And here's a swap. But it's behind, it is behind Shark. It is behind Shark. You ran. The, the, the list is gone. Koopa's watching for the swap, though, and is ready to take the shot. Wow. What a shot from Koopa. Look at this. Co extremely accurately cover. Like, you know, you ran nose and shark timings I better than I do, apparently. Uh, because that shark was indeed covering our statue the entire time. It wasn't covering for a shark walk, so it was able to, sh you know, Koopa was able to shoot in the end, but that statue was invisible for most of the time during the submission win countdown. And, uh, of course, look at this. We, we saw exactly who took the list, because look at these lowlights, these wave, this wave of lowlights, and immediately able to, to, uh, recognize what's happened. We've got that contact and send off a text, and we know exactly who could have done it, and we know exactly what's in danger uh, here at the very end of this game. Well done from Koopa on that, making sure that your Rand does not take that parody back in the set. It's a very, very nice shot uh, and uh, keeps the lead going as we move on into the next game. 
All right, we have Pub, three of seven. It's our Sniper Arcade variant. Koopa on the spy side. We're going to get going in three, two, one, playing it. Stepping into our ST, it's kind of important that we get to the ST early if we want to complete flirt, given the low time uh, pressure on this venue. But uh, this might be actually uniquely bad for your RAN style, though, given uh, given the amount of crowded activity going on. Your RAN kind of likes being able to narrow the party down and likes to kind of abuse the fact that, that spies typically like to play a bit slower, do things later in a game to narrow the party down before they do things. Uh, and, you know, on pub 3 of 7, the spy just has to go, go and move and do things very quickly. And AIs like to do it as well. So there's not much time to figure out a, a you know a party narrowing strategy here. Look at this. We have a highlight onto Alice, who, which I think signifies Yurand believing that Alice is the real double agent here. But that is actually incorrect, which may hurt Yurand's chances of winning going down the stretch. Um, Koopa might be in a better spot than they think right now. It is just 115 on the clock, 32% on the flirt. ST is on the move. Couldn't join with Salmon there in that position because of how full it was. So this is going to be a difficult briefcase on the fingerprint. Do we hit it? No, we don't. Koopa has not been on top of those green fingerprints, unfortunately, so far this set. So we're, we're coming down to a little bit of a tough spot. We don't have the flirt requisite to really finish the game here. So we're going to go into bar. Is this printable itself? No, the ambassador hasn't doesn't have a drink. Um, delegate is taken, so we do have some opportunity to finish, but our flirt's going to be a little bit rushed by necessity here. Unless we go for a timeout immediately, it's going to be a green test, but that means that just as the sniper clock goes under 30 seconds, we're going to start getting to the slow beeps that you see once you have a slowed timer. Every second counted off the sniper clock, under 30 seconds comes with a, an increasingly loud beep over time, and so it's very, very obvious when that clock is slowed down compared to normal. But we do send off the delegate here. It's clearly a slow clock for Yuran. Does he know where the timeout comes from? That's the big question, because if this purloin comes off and Yuran's not quite aware of it, this could be an, a win for Koopa, because we now do have the time to finish up this flirt. Guest list has gone. Does Yurand know who took it? What's the play here for Yurand? Shot immediately onto wheels. Yeah, Yurand knows exactly where that is from. Very nice shot from Yurand. And I think I think that perhaps also knew a little bit about uh, the fact that this timeout was done by wheels. Uh, so, well, n nicely shot from Yurand. Maybe a little bit too slow on the flirt. For Koopa there, you needed one more flirt to do that without a time add. Um, but a, 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 a nice shot from Yurand. Of course, Koopa always still has the chance to keep the lead by sniping Yurand on this 3 of 7 pub. And so far, Yurand has been a fairly slow spy, very, uh, you know, you know, we saw the timeout on high rise and a late game double hard tell play at the end of a aquarium game. So we're going to have to see how he adapts to this 3 of 7 pub variant. We're going to get into that in 3, 2, 1, playing it. No bug as the ambassador bounces around here. We wouldn't have enough cover and it probably wouldn't have taken either way. Here comes the first flirt. We take the cheese flirt. We take the immediately cheese flirt and we stop talking, but we don't walk away. So we're not trying to reset that cooldown. We're just trying to be seen not talking. That said, with how much Koopa has been zoomed in, never mind, never mind. We're going to immediately move out of there. Not, you know, we, we could have definitely been seen there, but Yurand is playing this quickly. I think he wants to swap this for Alice, perhaps, as, Alice, as she was just there. But look at this. Koopa looking for the swap, perhaps. No, we're just going to be taking that inspect. No inspect swap to narrow it down to two and then try to two green flirt and finish the game before uh, it's, you know, b b before Koopa thinks it's possible. Queen stepping into, the, into our same statue might attract some attention from Yurand, but uh, from Koopa rather, but look at all these lowlights now. We do take the, the contact and Yurand, one more flirt would be done with missions already. Alice also has, 
contact you know inspect so she is just as much a threat to complete as we are but if we hit this green test no we don't 80 percent that might be the difference between winning and losing this game for your rand can't hear the bbs is that right uh now i think koopa might be willing to shoot for this second the second flirt here that 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 green that green flirt was was critical because if we hit it this game is already over I'm gonna wait down the, the the timer but when do you take this flirt because if you take it as soon as the uh, as soon as the flirtation cooldown is up uh koopa might be able to you know think about how long it would take for that flirt, flirt timer it would be 45 seconds we take it immediately we do it's another talk in this conversation does koopa take the shot he does and look at that that is that green test if you hit that two green the game is already over but because we don't koopa is able to hold on to the lead over Urand. I think, it, I think it helps as well that Alice is not is clearly not flirting with anybody this entire time. She moves out, she moves to these statues, and uh, she's just inside the entire time. And no one else threatens to complete with flirt before we do. If maybe if we had waited for Pearl to talk and then talked at the same time, that would have been a slightly stronger way to complete this. Uh, but of course, then you are risking your SD leaving. Uh... And, or, or Pearl just never talking. You have to be maybe aware of the fact that you were the first one that really in the sniper's eyes could be completing that flirt. Um, so an unfortunate, an unfortunate maybe AI party for your rand in that they did not complete flirt in Koopa's eyes before him, but you have to go for it at some point. And Koopa makes a very, very nice call on the shot to continue to hold the lead four to two now we are on to veranda uh another one of yaran's favorite venues uh very very famous gets the nickname yaranda sometimes uh for people who like puns all right koopa going to be on the spy side it is going to be a bit difficult we'll see if Koopa can make a spy one on Veranda happen, we're gonna get that in three, two, one, playing it. And yeah, it's it's just a testament to how difficult is it is on the spy that the uh, the the win predictor starts us off at 38, 39 percent, uh, without you know really anything having happened in the game so far on either the sniper or the spy side, just with base time starting, time goes down. Something that really interests me about the the predictor is that, um, well, up until doing this microfilm, it liked us holding a book. Now it doesn't like us holding a book. Well, it still actually no, it still likes us holding a book. It just doesn't like the microfilm, the, or at least the fact that it's white or this early in the game. Uh, but we do get the early fingerprint. This maybe was a little bit too close for... Uh, maybe a little bit too close. <laughs> to the ambassador, just pick that up. But Uran doesn't seem to have noticed. 51% on the first flirt. Very nice start to the game. Contact gonna come off here. In the red. Potentially a bug right afterwards. I wouldn't be surprised to see it. But look at this. Yes, there it is. Nicely done. As Yuran ducks over to the right side of the venue to take low lights, we jump out of conversation, take that bug, and we seem to have gotten away with it. What a night! Like this has been the story of this Koopa's spy game so far this set. Just taking really nice bug opportunities when they are presented to him, and Yuran not being on top of it. We are going to go into red books now. And I suppose... Oh, it's a fingerprint on this. That's right. The ambassador was indeed just there. That's where, he, that's where he was when he took that bug. That means that if we get this book 
uh, this this microfilm animation done successfully without being seen. This is pretty much the game as all we would need after that are is just a single flirt and we could oh yeah a single flirt indeed. I was gonna say if it's a green test and it is indeed a green test. So we just need to get away with one animation microfilm that can be done anywhere on the venue if we so choose. So we have a lot of potential to get this done sneakily perhaps. And if we get this, get away with this, this is going to be a bug, print, and uh, and transfer game. So perhaps not even really a Uran not even being aware of us. Are we going to try to do it here at the window? It's a good timing for it. Uran looks over to the right side to low light. Sorry, as we do it, it's a green test on the microphone as well. So it's very quickly done. And I think that this game is already won from Koopa. You just have to put this back into the right bookcase. You actually even take a bug path on the way through. I'm not sure I like that. Uh, just because you already have the bug, you don't need to risk being credited in the back there. But Urand not even paying any attention to us. This game is just going to be over. As soon as you put this book back, it's just done. And here it is. Seven seconds on the clock. No way for Urand to shoot this. I think we, we, I think we just got away with a ghost-like game against Urand on Veranda. What a game from Koopa, and that, that means that if Koopa manages to win the sniper gun game on Veranda, which, you know, is favored, is something that is favored to happen for Koopa, uh, that'll be match point for another four games after that. Koopa is within striking distance of taking what many consider, would probably consider to be an upset over Durand, and in stunning fashion as well. We'll see if Urand can strike back and keep it close, keep it within range of the comeback, or if Koopa's going to close this one out. Oh man, this is this is really exciting. I uh, just this is this is all. It's always fun to see an up and coming player really uh, have a strong performance up, uh, against someone who's a, a very established as a strong player themselves. Let's get this started in three, two, one, playing it. Once again, this summer can start for Urand. You know, I don't know, Urand. You might, you might start. Uh, people might start wondering and start highlighting people in innocent conversations early. <laughs> if uh, if you keep doing this, A little start stop talk. I think to make sure that Urand doesn't have to be the one to talk. Uh, to give the talk to someone else in the conversation a little bit of a micro thing to make sure there's no no talk and but we're also not seen talking ourselves I don't think it really matters all that much against Koopa, especially on veranda Most snipers on veranda are not paying particular attention to individual talks or even flirts at all So the fact that we've spent this first 45 seconds of the game doing nothing I'm not sure how productive that has been. We do get a 34% on the first flirt here. Projecting Perloin, no, no, no Perloin idea here. Just another slow game out of your end, but that's not how you how you are able to play Veranda here, because there's five missions you need to do. It's more than more than most venues. There's only two venues that we play competitively that have five missions required, so it's pretty rare these days to have 13. Um, there's another flirt down. Two of them. Whoa, whoa! What is that? That was interesting. Was that on purpose? Did we try to put the book back and look like we put it put it back but steal it out regardless? I am not sure, but we have the potential for a twitch bug. Contact is going to come off of a fit so long on the white test that she might walk away in the first place. And yeah, look at that. If she had stayed, we would have been able to get that bug, but that's just too long. You can't wait that long. Uh, you have to hit the that green test or just go for a twitch bug in, in the first place but we don't and instead look at this highlight and credited with the bug anyway that is brutal for your and it looks like koopa's on his way to picking up a six to two lead against your and here doesn't go for the second bug this time uh just because there's no more cover for it 
you had to take that quicker earlier and it just never worked out. It's also a little bit unfortunate for Urana that the ambassador path to where she did, she could have pathed to anywhere else in the venue that was outside of that outside of that back area. And she would have pathed right into your end bug, and we would actually have the credit for that. Of course, we'd still also have the credit in the sniper's eyes for that, which would uh, uh, all as well be a problem. Then again, this 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 um could could also just be a highlight for I don't know where your book is, but white time ad. Oh, look at this couple of low, low light. Yeah, low lights here coming off. Koopa noticed that for sure, and this game is all but over. There's, I just see no way for Urand to take this one here. 4% on, you know, the model agrees, it's just 4%. Another timeout, it's going to be a green test, but it's just too late at this point. Too little, too late. No amount of time on the clock is going to change the outcome of this one. And yeah, the shot just immediately comes off after that timeout, after having noticed that. And Koopa up 6 to two over your rand. I I have no more words than that. Koopa up six two over your rand, and you know I said that we had that we had the veranda was your one of your rand's favorite venues. Well, this is not a favorite of your rand's at all. Redwoods makes it so hard to see full entire paths and makes making sure you can see the missions that much more important. So, Uran's going to have to pull a nice sniper game out here just to stay in it. This, uh, this is going to be difficult for Uran, just because you have to win four in a row. Four in a row, two of them being on Redwoods, just to make it into overtime, and then you have to play Balcony. That's going to be difficult. Koopa really on the verge here of having locked this set up. We'll see if he can do it in one spy game, make it a very clean 7-2 score, a statement against Durand. Let's get it going in 3, 2, 1, play it. Immediate flirt, 51% for Koopa here. Very nice start, it's what you like to see. I would have liked to see us move out of this conversation as quickly as possible because there is no reason to be here and is no reason to stay near your ST once you've got that flirt unless you think that, you know, the sniper might have seen you stand there and, you know, make you more suspicious for moving around, uh, perhaps. But on Redwoods, that's just so unlikely and you can get that flirt so much faster, have some other thing that you can do in the meantime. But of course, there's also value to standing still and letting others accrue suspicion because look at this, we already have four highlights, including Smallman getting that automatic highlight from Urand. We are going to have our flirt cooldown done now. There it is, 85%. Uh, and uh, we don't quite get that two flirt, of course, but we are going to go in for a briefcase here. It's pretty in the back. I think Urand does, in fact, see it, though. It's going to be a difficult, however... And once again, Koopa doesn't get it, but it does get the bug with the briefcase return, the wrong arm against the Ambassador. What a nice play. Uh, as a sniper, I think you have to credit that when you're taking that kind of angle. Urand just not on top of the angles there for that particular bug. And it's going to hurt because now Koopa has that bug. And if you're not crediting it, this could very well be enough to win you a Redwoods game outright. We just don't be a still have those four highlights two low lights however um to note very important to 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 see that your end is taking low lights in the party as this goes on but if those two low lights were the cost of that bug you'd take it every single day One hundred percent now on the flirt. Two missions done. One twenty on the clock. Time is going to be ticking down here, but we definitely have uh, options with the con with the double agent in for contact here. We can take this if we want to, but no, they leave on us. Hopefully, they're set you know sight set on another conversation, and it seems that they are. So we can just move back to their conversation, take that contact, and all we need is one more mission after that. And I would not be surprised to see a purloin, perhaps a delegate purloin. 
uh, in the winning seconds of this game. Here comes the contact that is going to let off uh, quite a few more low lights, though. We already had uh, two low lights, but look at this. Assume real from your ran, so now it is down to only five characters in this party, so it might be difficult to get away from a purloin. Uh, but what if we just take this immediately? We do. Koopa taking it immediately. Uran sees the fade, but the question is, is Uran willing to shoot immediately another low light onto Kane? And I don't think he is, but the mission win countdown's already here, and Koopa, with a clean, strong statement, 7-2 to two over Uran. What a game. What a set from Koopa. That 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 is a uh, that is certainly something. I'm, I'm, I don't think Urand had the most accurate day. You know, sometimes he's, uh, you know, a killer to to try to spy against, and to, but you know, a combination of Koopa's strong play and maybe Urand being slightly off his game, just really nicely done from Koopa, holding down the sniper side as well. Uh, did not give up a single sniper loss, I believe, all the way through that set. Uh, even on that aquarium game that was so nicely done from Uran, so that's all you have to do uh, sometimes is just hold down the sniper for it. And if you if you know your opponent's not doing the same thing, you're gonna win that set. And Koopa displays it beautifully, taking more than is necessary in spy wins, ends the set real early.